Five teachers employed at Maud Williams High School are tonight without a job after receiving notice earlier today that they are being made redundant. The laying off of roughly one-fifth of the teaching staff was a somber moment for employees, which comes as part of the restructuring of the school's curriculum. That streamlining is part of a bigger picture, the merger of educational resources of City Vernon, Maud Williams, and Excelsior High Schools. Since its introduction a few years ago, the Ministry of Education has decided to move ahead with the implementation of the union in time for the upcoming academic year. Despite being given ample time for the respective schools to conform to the Ministry's guidelines, the move has resulted in the dismissal of Marlene Rojas, Bernadine Villagram, Lyndon Lam, Paula Gray, and Marie Cruz Itzab. Shortly after 1 o'clock, they were informed that their services were no longer needed due to low enrollment at the institution. In a press conference held earlier this month, Minister of Education Patrick Faber addressed the issue of redundancy. While he acknowledged that unemployment for some is inevitable, the process of elimination, he said, would be based primarily on qualification, more specifically, the requisite pedagogical skills. If a member of staff of any of these schools is made redundant, that that teacher uh, continues or needs to be put immediately on a pension. Uh, so that, uh, and there are two options when that, when that kicks in, if that needs to kick in. Uh, firstly, that if that person is expected to continue in the teaching profession, but is merely being displaced because of the, of the kind of uh, deployment that is happening at the school at the time, uh, because of the redundancy, then uh, that person will be put on what they are calling a temporary pension. And, uh, of course, as soon as that person can be re-employed in the, in the education system, that pension will cease. And there are other instances where uh, we don't expect people to uh, be re-employed and they will, con they will start a pension at whatever age they are uh, until they depart. We are trying to make sure that that uh, is minimized, the situation where... Uh, teachers are made redundant. News 5 has learned that the ministry, as a result of consulting the existing labor laws, backpedaled on its initial plan to get rid of teachers who were either underperforming or unqualified. Instead, the alternate approach was to dismiss those who were hired last. In the case of one instructor, who has over 25 years of teaching service, while her letter points out that she is entitled to benefits under the School Teachers' Pensions Act, she contends that her dismissal is unjust since it is the ministry that transferred her to Maud Williams seven years ago. Interestingly, said lecturer possesses a master's degree in educational leadership with a minor in secondary education. She has indicated off record that she is exploring her legal options since she intends to challenge the grounds of her release. On the other hand, we are being told that the school has opted to retain the services of a lesser qualified teacher, which seemingly flies in the face of the ministry's initial position. Teachers who have been asked to stay on have received a letter from the Board of Management of Maud Williams. The letter, signed by Chairperson Nicole Middleton, reads, quote, The Board of Management hereby informs you that you have been assigned continuing employment on the staff of Maud Williams High School for the upcoming school year, 2014-2015. Attached are the conditions of service you will be expected to comply with as a teacher. Please indicate your acceptance to return under these conditions, by signing and returning a copy of this correspondence by June 27, 2014, unquote. Reporting for News 5, 